Chapter 17 Then the Lord said to Moses, Give Aaron and his sons and all the Israelites these commands from the Lord. If any Israelite sacrifices a bull or a lamb or a goat anywhere inside or outside the camp, and does not bring it to the entrance of the tabernacle to present it as an offering to the Lord, that person will be guilty of a capital offense. Such a person has shed blood and must be cut off from the community. This rule will stop the Israelites from sacrificing animals in the open fields. It will cause them to bring their sacrifices to the priest at the entrance of the tabernacle so he can present them to the Lord as peace offerings. That way the priest will be able to sprinkle the blood and burn the fat on the Lord's altar at the entrance of the tabernacle, and it will be very pleasing to the Lord. The people must no longer be unfaithful to the Lord by offering sacrifices to evil spirits out in the fields. This is a permanent law for them to be kept generation after generation. Give them this command as well, which applies both to Israelites and to the foreigners living among you. If you offer a whole burnt offering or a sacrifice and do not bring it to the entrance of the tabernacle to offer it to the Lord, you will be cut off from the community. And I will turn against anyone, whether an Israelite or a foreigner living among you, who eats or drinks blood in any form. I will cut off such a person from the community, for the life of any creature is in its blood. I have given you the blood so you can make atonement for your sins. It is the blood, representing life, that brings you atonement. That is why I said to the Israelites, You and the foreigners who live among you must never eat or drink blood. And this command applies both to Israelites and to the foreigners living among you. If you go hunting and kill an animal or bird that is approved for eating, you must drain out the blood and cover it with earth. The life of every creature is in the blood. That is why I have told the people of Israel never to eat or drink it, for the life of any bird or animal is in the blood. So whoever eats or drinks blood must be cut off. And this command also applies both to Israelites and the foreigners living among you. If you eat from the carcass of an animal that died a natural death or was killed by a wild animal, you must wash your clothes and bathe yourselves in water. Then you will remain ceremonially unclean until evening. After that, you will be considered clean. But if you do not wash your clothes and bathe, you will be held responsible.